Matt here at Home Farm Ideas, and today I got something in the mail from my friend Dave. Um, if you guys hadn't checked out the last video that I did for him, um, it was basically uh, he sent me out some tilapia from my aquaponics system, and the uh, tilapia have been working out great. I am going to have a follow-up video for you guys on that here pretty soon. I did some underwater footage of that, and I'm um, going to try to show you as best I can those tilapia and then my goldfish and all that. But I was having a problem in my aquaponics system, and uh, I was handling it okay by myself, but I'm a pretty busy guy, and so um, I like to automate everything that I do, as much as I can possibly do. And I thought crawdads might be a good way for me to control snails in my system. Now, we'll see if they're gonna eat them or not, but there's also other reasons why I wanted to get crawdads. Another reason was is that I want them to break down the waste that the fish are producing so that it's more water soluble. Um, so I got a few spots that I want to put them on my fish tank. I want to put them basically in the fish aspect of the tank, right? So with the goldfish, I want to put them some in there, maybe with the tilapia. We'll see what size they are though when I open the box. And then um, I want to put some in my swirl filter. The swirl filter is really where I want um, these crawdads because the snails breed in there because there's no competition and then there's nothing to really control them, right? So I want to go ahead and put them in those three areas and wait for this helicopter to go by because <laughs> I'm not gonna stop the video. So anyways, um, if you guys want to pick these up from him, he does crawdads, but he's also doing a lot of different styles of fish. And then he also has a YouTube channel that he's trying to get going. So if you guys, you know, all 80,000 of you guys go over there and like his page and subscribe to his channel and stuff, because I know he's got some really cool ideas. He's just always busy as well because he ships out uh, tilapia and then he's doing a lot of other types of fish. So um, all that will be in the description below, okay, you guys? So I want to do an unboxing today, and I just want to check out the crawdads and get some underwater footage. So if you guys can think of any uh, other reasons why to have crawdads other than maybe to have a... Uh, uh, boil, crab boil, or a crawdad boil where you're eating the crawdads. Um, post those things in the comment section below. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, post those in the comment section below. I want to engage with you guys on these, um, on these things that I'm doing because um, there's thought processes behind everything that I do. Um, and I, I like to basically, I'm all about discovery basically. I love, um, I guess my job in life is to wonder. I wonder what's this, I wonder what could this be. I wonder, wonder, wonder. And I'd really like being that way too. So anyways, if you guys want to engage with me, post in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's unbox these crawdads and let's see what we got. All right, so let's see what we got. I got my daddy's knife. He left it to me before he passed away. I love you, Pop. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and see what we got in here. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's just not working out today for me kind of like my hair you saw my hair in that last part of the video I'm having a bad hair day <laughs> I know my jokes are so lame my kids even think so all right Dave next time you know I mean just kind of box them up a little less tape <laughs> no dude these came out to me really quick man so I really appreciate it bro Of course, they came at me at the end of the day when I'm like, okay, I got to cook dinner for the kids. <laughs> oh, there's a package in the mail, Dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> but my wife got home. All right, so let's see. Don't be blaming it on my daddy's knife. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got in here. Nice. Okay, cool, Dave. Um, I was wondering if you were going to ship them like this because it has been so hot uh, around California, and um, I really appreciate the uh, extra packaging. Um, this stuff actually makes a huge difference when we're shipping out uh, stuff. So, oh, then you got a uh, cooling pack in here. Oh no, dude! Thank you, bro. There we go, some fry starter right there. Yeah, Dave does sell this stuff too. Uh, it's It's got some really good protein uh, levels in it. I mean, 50%, so really good stuff. Um, it got my tilapia that he sent me out last time, and he only sent me a small package, but it really made a difference. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got in here. 
Oh, we got some plants too, Dave. You're going crazy with it. Now, I told him not to send me out too many because I don't want them overtaking the whole tank here. Yeah, we got them in here. Yeah, they, I think this, uh, let me see here. Yeah, he sent me some babies. Okay, cool. D Dave, thanks. Thank you, bro. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to put these in, um, um, I'm going to put these in my, my swirl filter because I know they're going to hang out at the bottom. And then I'm also going to put some in my, um, I'm going to put one or two. I don't know how many is in here though. I don't think he sent me a lot because I told him not to. Um, but I'm going to put some of these in my uh, plant grow area and then they can help me with snails there as well. So anyway, let's get them in the system. And I'm going to try to get some footage of this. So let's go for it. You know what? Since these crawdads are tiny, I mean, they're still babies. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them in my bamboo breeding tank. Um, or my bamboo growing tank, I should say. Um, that way I can watch them, I can feed them specifically, let them grow up, and it shouldn't take them too long with the way I feed things around here to get big enough to where they can fend off any foe. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them in here, and then I'm gonna try to get some underwater footage of them as well. So let's go ahead and let's get them out of the bag, and let's get them in here. One more thing that I did want to say about these uh, crawdads is, Dave, these are like really nice, man. They're um, almost fish tank quality. Like, how big are these supposed to get and all that stuff, dude? Post post in the comment section below for, for everybody else, but it looks like I got about five of them in here, which is perfect for my system. Um, but yeah, let me know, man, because um, these are actually like really... You know, remember I was telling you I wanted to do some um, some fish tank videos for my fish tank channel. Uh, and if you guys want to check out that channel, obviously, um, you can check out this card right here. But, um, yeah, these would look really cool in a fish tank if they stayed small because I'm doing nano tanks. So let me pull one out see if I can. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're fast. You know, let me get one in my hand and then I'll continue this video. All right, check this little guy out. Ah. Let me let me get him down here in the water. Yeah, they're gonna love it in there. <laughs> I definitely need to get some underwater footage because that way we can see him a little bit better. Hopefully, with my GoPro. Let me get these other guys in here. He's angry. Don't let him drive when he's angry. There's another one. Get the babies. And here's the fourth one. Isn't he cute? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a screenshot of that one. There we go. Crow Daddy. Big old Crow Daddy. <laughs> He's pissed. I'm trying to get a screenshot here. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this little guy down in the wall water. Alright, so let's check out some underwater footage. I'm probably going to cut off the video there, you guys. If you guys like this video, obviously give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, video update videos on these guys. So if you guys want to see update videos on these crawdads and everything else I'm doing, um, make sure you hit that bell icon when you subscribe. So anyway, thank you guys and uh, God bless you. And like always, peace. Check out that underwater footage.